So I hope now the sound is more clear. I can say crystal clear because of this amazing mic I just bought for my camera. And this is really, really super quality sound. But hey, we are on AWS challenge, 100 days of AWS challenge. And today I have completed the day 45 for our 100 days of AWS challenge once again. And the topic is Kinesis data firehose. Now, suppose you have lots of real-time data generated by maybe IoT devices, maybe your web server log, it could be anything, but you want that to be analyzed, transformed, and then stored maybe directly in S3. It could be from the data stream, which previously or yesterday we have learned. So here comes the data fire hose and this is a service provided by the Kinesis uh, I can say ecosystem of AWS and today we have done with that and here is the handwritten note which includes some theories and some uh, concept for this uh, fire hose but now we need to go for the hands-on as usual you know and if you really want these kind of handwritten notes for every topic of AWS just visit the 100 days of AWS uh, GitHub repository and everything is there with the hands-on also. So now let's go to the hands-on. So I'm here on the AWS console. Let's go to the Kinesis so that we can create our uh, fire, uh, fire hose data stream. And uh, this is the one and choose this one, the fire hose, create delivery stream. First, we need to provide the name so I can say demo firehose stream and then it says where you want to put the data i want to put the data in kinesis data stream and we don't have any data stream so let's just create new data stream the kinesis data stream for us and i can say demo data stream and shards going to be two and then create the data stream okay so data stream is created now click reload and yep we can select the data stream from here that's done and click on next this time it's asking for do you want any data transformation disabled you can enable it obviously and just provide where or how you want the data transformation and if you want any conversion of the data to apache parquet or orc okay so everything is disabled and now i want to click next and it says okay now where you really want to put the data the destination for now let's check the aws uh, s3 bucket and uh, we have some of the bucket but i want to create one for uh, for i can say just say uh, fire hose okay that's great and uh, it says uh, also available so i can say for fire hose what about that and yes that's created you can provide some suffix or error suffix obviously so you can provide like error so whenever there is an error it will be prefixes with the error keyword now click next and this time it says hey what's the buffer condition so the buffer is simply like you have to buffer the size of 1 MB before delivering to S3 or you have to wait for 60 seconds before delivering to S3. So you are getting the data, 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 data on the fire, fire hose, but it's capturing the data, but not going to deliver to S3 until 60 seconds is passed, or maybe the data, uh, data we, the fire hose is collecting crosses 1 MB. Okay, so now we can define some compression if you want, encryption and logging, I want to be disabled it's going to create a new iam role that's great and now click on next to finally confirm and create delivery stream so now the delivery stream is now created and what next we have to do first let's go to s3 to see the new s3 bucket which is for fire hose and Yes, we can see we have this for fire hose, which is going to be empty for now. Yes, it is empty. Now we need to load some data in this demo data stream that will going to the fire hose and that fire hose will move the data to S3. For that, I'm going to copy the name and this time go to the terminal and see if we list the streams 
from our terminal you can see we have this data stream that's great now i want to put the data into the data stream so i just say put record stream name is demo data stream and everything is same now hit enter and this is created this means we should get this inside our s3 so if i reload it's not getting that why remember the buffer part so we have to either wait for 1 mb of data or wait for 60 second so let's wait for 60 second and after 60 second once i refreshed you can see we have this one so 2021 is here 07 is here 15 is here 05 is here and finally we got this data and this is the file actually and uh, can we open it let's try to open this file and it's actually asking for download okay let's download and how we can open this one so okay so this is uh, in a weird format so maybe we can do something else okay so basically you see that this is available uh, there will be some different way to open it to see what exactly this include but by the way we have everything and that's how we use the fire hose and remember every time you do something you have to remove so that uh, your bill will not exceed